Today is all about the curly hair night routine and how to protect your curls overnight for both loose wavy curls like mine or tighter more voluminous curls like my daughter's and we'll talk about all the details. I've got you covered. Plus, I have some bonus tips for your morning routine as well. Hello, this is April with The Curl Story, a channel dedicated to helping you build your toolbox of curly hair routines, techniques, and signature hairstyles. And my daughter is here with me today so we can show how both of our curl types can be protected with this one hair buff and we've been calling it a hair buff that is actually a brand name for this type of multifunctional headwear or neck gaiter that you can find most anywhere now in the face mask section or in sporting goods type store but we found them for two dollars so they were too good to pass up we bought multiple so we can always have some clean ones available while there's others in the wash and they come in really fun and colorful patterns as well so my daughter's gonna show how she can put hers on all by herself. She loves how comfortable it is. She loves that the ends of her hair are sticking out so she can still feel her hair. She really did not like the silk bonnets that had the elastic or ties around her face. They were really uncomfortable for her. And of course, a silk scarf just would never stay on her. So this is her absolute favorite. And for her tighter curls, we position the back of her hair down. So that is really, important because we want her hair to still be laying down when she wakes up in the morning if we were to position this hair buff sticking up as i'm going to show you how i do with my hair that would make her hair be sticking up in the morning so it's really important for the type of hair that you have to make sure that however you're positioning it at night is the way that you want it to lay in the morning so let me go back to my hair for the night and show you how I'm going to just use a coily band and I'm just going to loop it around just one time so I'm not even twisting it a second time around I'm not really trying to secure it I'm just trying to gather it in one position on the top of my head because I want all of the roots of my hair facing upward because I do want my hair to stick up in the morning as much as possible so I can get that root volume <laughs> that I love so much so I do wear my hair buff a little bit differently like this so it's really important to be able to modify your sleep routine and see what is is most comfortable for you as well but wait there are more bonus uses for this hair buff which i absolutely love and the first is as a headband to go for a morning walk to have your coffee outside without having to fully do your hair yet and another is to wear it under your shower cap which is especially helpful if your shower cap is loose and you need a way to secure your curls up and under that shower cap to keep them dry the next accessory is the scarf wrap and i'm going to show you the simplest way I have found to wrap this scarf, it was just an $8 silky scarf. And I'm going to put my hair up the same way as I did with the buff with just a coily hairband in a very loose way. But this one, I'm just creating a little bit of a messy bun because that's gonna give me some height on the top. It's still super loose. My roots are still pointed upwards rather than hanging straight down. And I'm going to just start with with a triangle fold of the silky scarf and then I'm just going to place that folded end at the nape of my neck tie the two longer pieces together and then I have this little top triangle tip hanging out so then I just tuck that in tie right on top of that and then I'm still going to have a little bit of that triangle sticking out so I'm just going to fold that back tie it one more time and that creates a cute little knot on top twist the ends and just tie a little knot at the back and then just tuck under any loose longer pieces of the scarf so it does take a little more effort than a hair buff but it's super chic isn't it so pretty so elegant so you can definitely play with your style by finding different patterns and colors that you love. But both of these, the hair buff and the silk scarf, prevent your hair from any movement in the night, 
from any friction on the pillowcase to keep those curl clumps intact and beautiful for the next day. This one's also easy to remove in the morning. Just start with your last knot and then move your way all the way up to the first knot you created and voila. And next up are some bonus morning tips for you. So the first thing to know is when you take out your buff in the morning, your hair is gonna look a little funny. <laughs> it always does, but just give it time. So my best advice is to just take out the hair buff as soon as you wake up in the morning i tuck mine under the pillowcase to leave it there for the next night and then let my hair settle for about 10 minutes so that means i go and do something else i don't look at my hair i don't really touch it yet after at least 10 to 15 minutes then i fluff out my roots and investigate see if i need to refresh any curls but letting it settle is really important now i fluff out my roots because i do want that volume but i don't fluff out my daughter roots so that's really optional depending on your hair needs and how you want it to look I also love to use a refresher spray my daughter loves this too it feels really good on the scalp it adds some moisture and then with some essential oils in it it adds a fresh fragrance as well so I really really love this and again I just let that naturally soak up into my hair before I try to add any product or see if it even needs any product <laughs> And for more on refreshing, I'll leave a link to my playlist below. Thank you so much for watching. I surely hope this was helpful for you. Let me know what you think and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.